Hello and welcome to Taik. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the deployment pipelines in Power BI. It's a feature available in Power BI Premium as well as Premium per user. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. But make sure you turn on the notification on your devices. Now let's get started. This is my Power BI workspace and in this I am in training workspace. Now if you see on the left side, we expand this one, we got this option deployment pipelines. If you click there, if nothing is there, it will give you this full screen. Yeah, these are the stages here. So now the first step is we have to create a pipeline and then we can assign as a workspace and then we can create three stages development, test and production and then we can share with other users. So let's create a pipeline. So click on this button create a pipeline. So you need to give a name. I will give as, as this for training training deployment pipeline we can give the descriptions here and then click on create once it is created it will give you three options here deployment test and production as you can see here no workspace has been assigned this stage so at the bottom of this page you have this option assign a workspace so click here you have three options here either you can start from the development and then test and then production or else you can directly start from test and production basically generally people will start from the development you can use this one and here you need to select a workspace to which you are going to assign this deployment pipeline. For this one, the workspace has to be a premium workspace. So as of now, I have only the testing workspace in the premium capacity. That is, I have activated the premium per user capacity. I made a video about how you can activate the premium per user license on a workspace. So you can just check out that video. So for now, what I will do, I will just go and reassign this premium per user license to another workspace. So now I got these options here and here also I have this create a pipeline. From here also I can create the pipeline. So click here, it will ask me the first step. As this state has I have already created, so I will go to here, deployment pipeline and click on this training DP. I click in assign a workspace now if I select here it will give me two of them here so training workspace as this is a preview feature of the premium per user so I can assign multiple premium license for multiple workspaces so here the training workspace and select the deployment state the content is being deployed and revised context is Sorry, the content is ready for testing, preview and verifying. Content has been tested and verified and is ready for production. This is a short description of these three stages. And then click assign now. So once you're done, it will give you the list of data sets and reports and dashboards. If you click here, it will give you the list of data sets and reports and dashboard here. Now you got this option apply to test so if you click here it is creating a workspace actually it will take some time depends on the capacity and depends on the files available here so the testing training workspace test has been created here and the content is being copied so it is completed now if you click on this workspaces icon if you look at here you got this training workspace this is the one which is already there 
and the training workspace test has been created by Power BI itself because of this deployment pipeline and you have to just activate the premium per user license for this workspace whereas these things will be considered by Power BI itself and also you got this here the green tick mark there both of them are in sync so no need to worry about that if you have noticed you have seen this icon here on the top right of this testing area it is deployment settings if you click here data set rule configuration select a data set to create the rules you want to apply it when deploying this state if you click here create rules defining parameter values and data sources for this data set these rules will be applied when deploying to this stage. You can go dataset settings to edit parameters directly. The thing is, for an example, for the development purpose, you are going to use some, some basic data to develop. Whereas for the testing purpose and for live production, you are going to use the real data. So in that case, you have this option here. You can change the data source over there. So click on add rule here and choose a data source it is asking replace the data source with this one so i'm going to select here so this is the one which is available here and with this one and you have these options others here as well so you can define it whatever it is it is for test production if you have this you can select this one and then click on save once it is done this testing workspace will have the different data source for this inventory power bi data set that's an advantage here that's the cool thing right yeah so once it is done then once the testing has been done you click on deploy to production and this is also going to create a workspace by power bi itself and then it's going to copy the content from testing to the production but it takes some time so meanwhile what we'll do here here if you click on this icon the training workspace you got this option here as well it is development and here i'm going to change the settings and the name as training workspace the evp for the development and save and go back here and if you click on test let it be the test and for this one as it has created as the production i don't want this or the production you can rename it here as well so settings instead of production i'm just going to keep this as training workspace so click on save and this also comes here as a production so going back here now refreshing this one because the name has not changed here now it's changed to development, test, and then the workspace. Now let's go and do some changes to that. So clicking on this one to open up a report. I'm going to open this one. Okay, I'm not going to do anything, I'm just going to realign this one, or uh, it's just considered as I'm making some changes to that report. So click on save. And let's go to the deployment pipeline. Now refresh this one. So click here changes were made to the content since the last deployment so something has been changed from the last deployment between the development and then the test whereas from the test to production nothing has changed so it is still in green so you can click on compare here or you can just X click on compare so now it will give you this option like this is the difference here if for an example i'm going to with this workspace and out of this data set i'm going to create a report i'm just going to i'm just going to add the group names here 
that's it and then the save this is inventory group just for an example save okay now if i refresh this again i got this one and then the two reports here so if you click on compare i got these two options one there is a difference and it is a new if you click here you got this option select related right if you click here it will also going to select the data set as well so if there is any change in the schema of that then you have to select the data set as well or is just a visualization part then you can just click on the report so once you select these two and if you want to deploy the new report as well click here and then deploy it it is going to replace the everything from the development to the testing environment so whatever you have selected here so click on deploy to test content will be replaced one of the one item will be replaced this is what it is saying it here so continue it is copying the three items as well so once it is done we got this green symbol here whereas here again there is an error saying that changes were made to the content since the last deployment when you click on compare again it will give the same thing that this is missing here and there is a difference in the report so again you can select these things it is not the reverse way actually you have to select the report and then the select related ok so now deploy to production the same message continue done so now everything is clear everything is green okay here's the access tab where you can give this access who has the access to this deployment pipeline now if you look at this here publish app publish app and publish app what does it mean is as these three of the workspaces are separate separate thing development test and the production even though it looks in a single screen but for power bi three of them are a separate thing and three of the separate stages as well in that case it has created separate workspaces separate data set separate reports and also separate apps for that because when it goes to the testing environment the user can test the report dashboard and as well as the app and for the real production also the end users can access the report dashboard and apps as well so that's the thing it has created three separate workspaces and three separate everything for that now let's go and look at the some limitations over there the workspace must be a new workspace experience you must be an admin of the workspace the workspace is not assigned to any other pipeline the workspace must reside on a premium capacity or power bi premium you cannot assign a workspace with power bi samples to a pipeline state only workspaces that can be used with deployment pipelines will show in the list of workspaces you can select from that we have seen already you have an option of backward deployment as well if you click on this three dot options here you have this option deploy to previous state this will work only if the backward means the test and deployment workspace is empty here because when there may be some cases where whatever the data you have is the right production data now you decided to use the deployment pipeline in that case what you will do you will just directly assign the existing workspace to the production and you will keep those two as a blank and from there you click on this option use this deploy to previous stage in that case you will use it will publish it to i mean uh, the power bi will publish these things to test environment and from test you can go to development from there you can assign it to different users they will start a development and then the test and then the production so if you look at here deployed items when you deploy content from one pipeline to another state the copied content contain the following items data set reports and dashboard that we have said already and the unsupported items are data set that not originated from the pbx reports based on unsupported data sets template app workspace paginated report data flows push data sets and workbooks are not going to copy here items properties copied during deployment during deployment the following item properties are copied and overwrite the items at the target state data source rules are supported parameters rules are supported 
report visuals, report page, dashboard slides, model, metadata, item relationship. Item that are not copied is the data. Data is in being copied, only metadata is copied as already said and URL, ID, permission for a workspace of a specific item because that's a specific workspaces each and everything development test and production so it's not going to copy that and workspace setting as well as because these three are stages not a same workspace and all content and settings because that's also a different thing the following data set properties are also not copied during deployment role assignment refresh schedule this is the important thing as these three are different workspaces and these three have the chances of different data source as well so that you have to assign a different refresh schedule for each and every thing for development test and production and also data set credentials not going to copy query caching settings can be inherited from the capacity and then the endorsement settings so that's it for now actually it has a lot more to do with that so with this video you can go ahead with the deployment pipeline functionalities so if you like this video and you understand the concept of this one you just hit the like button if you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it to the friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video